not much uh, problem with it. And Battle was heading uh, down the baseline. So San Bode got the reach-in foul before he could get by. Larry Smith inbounds to Bardo on the near side. Boy, Bardo makes a good move. Back now to Marcus. He traveled. He shuffled his uh, pivot foot before he made the drive towards the basket. Out of bounds to Missouri. 45-43. Missouri leads by two. 16-18 to go in the ball game. Church working it. Back in front, Sam Bodie to Peeler. Down into the corner to Irvin. The ball and a turnover. Good defensive pressure. Peeler couldn't find anything to do with it. 13 turnovers now on the zoo. Over the line comes Larry Smith. Smith working off of a pick by Liberty. Gives back to Bardo. And now to Smith. Boy, Missouri has got great quickness out in front. Illinois is going to have to be more alert passing the basketball. And here's Bardo breaking off the Smith. Underneath, Marcus Liberty for the shot. Can't get it. Battle gets it up and in. Hey, Lana, I got a break there because Liberty shot foul on the backboard. Foul on Bardo. And that's three on Steve Bardo, the fourth on Illinois in this half. There's a break in the action at the arena in St. Louis. We're going to return after these words from your local stations. And welcome back to the arena in St. Louis, Missouri. The score is all tied. 45-45. Dick Martin along with Steve Kelly. And Illinois will put the ball in play at the front of the court. Anderson gets it into Larry Smith. Smith moving it across the line. Irvin Small, that's setting the pick there. Pardo has it. Back now to Kenny Battle. Outside to Pardo. Underneath, they try to get it underneath there to Smith, and they throw it away. So both teams having trouble with turnovers tonight. Doug Smith. 14 on the Illini. Peeler outside, Coward. And now to Smith. Doug Smith lets a long one go. Rebounding by Illinois underneath there. It's picked up somewhat. Pardo. I had three guys on that and almost lost it out of bounds. Larry Smith. I watch for the alley oop one of these times down there, Dick. But Battle threw that away and Bugs, or rather Smith stepped out of bounds. But I think a lot of trying to set up the alley oop to Kenny Battle or Nick Anderson. Nick Anderson had his back turned to the pass, but well, fortunately for Illinois, when Smith grabbed the loose ball out of the air, he came down on the baseline. So Illinois gets a break here. Smith. Driving for the basket. Gets underneath, traveling with the ball. We've well, had a lot of traveling violations tonight. Illinois with 15 turnovers. Out of bounds to the Tigers at the far end of the court. Peeler, Anthony Peeler, the freshman out of Kansas City. Inbounds it to Coward. Here's what's happened in the turnover department. Not good for either team. Coward working against Smith. Almost another one there. Oh, what a there steal by one. battle. The turnovers are all even up. Boy, he stepped right in front of Doug Smith and snarled the ball right out of the air. Over the line, Larry Smith. Got battle. Good give and go. Urban Small took one too many steps and another turnover by Illinois. Well, I tell you, these guys must feel like dancing tonight the way they're shuffling their feet. Uh, that's got to be a half dozen turnovers on traveling violations. Lou Henson has not got to be happy about that, I'm sure. He's picking up there, Marcus Liberty. Look at the steps. Boy, he had the open shot, too. No doubt about it. He had the open shot, although it didn't go in. But uh, he shuffled the feet first. Liberty comes out now. Liberty into the ball game. Missouri putting the ball in play at the far end. Comes in to Irvin. It's still tied at 45. That clock shows 13.55 to play. Irvin down into the corner, outside the church. Coward, Doug Smith, give and go underneath the button. Button got away from somebody there, and uh, Anderson uh, had him on the front, but he got it by Anderson, and Bardo was uh, not able to pick him up, and he got the easy two. Here's Nick Anderson off of the glass, and he can't, but he gets the rebound and puts it up and in. It's going to count, and a foul on Missouri. Anderson is really tough.
tough under the boards, and he's got to get that way. Get the line, I have a chance there. And he was tough, got the good second effort and the foul. There's Nick on the offensive glass. Smith couldn't bring it down. Anderson got back in, got fouled a couple of times, got the basket and the foul. Foul is on Smith. And to the line, Nick Anderson with a score tied. Illinois can take the lead for the very first time tonight with 13 and a half minutes to play in the game. Anderson's first trip to the foul line. Rebound Smith of Missouri up to Coward. Nearly loses the ball, comes back outside. This game has been tied three times all here in the second half. In case you just joined us, Illinois was down by 17 in the first half. There's Irvin. That's his first bucket of this half. Gives him 20 points in the game. The Tigers back in front. Here's Anderson. Boy, what a power move that was and a foul on Doug Smith, and that's his third. That's what they've got to do, Dick. They've got to get the ball to Nick. He's their best scorer. He's their best offensive weapon. He's their best rebounder. They've got to get it into him, and uh, he's going to be doing the job for them. There's a look at the foul. And battle makes the pass to Nick coming down the lane. Nice spin move, and he gets hammered, no doubt about that. I think I said that that was the third on Doug Smith. I'll correct myself. That's his second foul and not his third. Nick Anderson going to the line. Missouri making a change. Church, there you see, sitting down. He's been replaced by Mike Sanbody. And Nick Anderson will have two. Nick struggled a bit from the foul line, hitting only 61% on the year. And he hit this another, but he's over two. He's actually shooting almost uh, better from the field than he is from the foul line. He's 60% from the field. Missed him both. Rebound to battle. So the line I got on the offensive board that time, and we're tied again for the fourth time at 49. That button out, Coward, three-point shot. That's his second three-pointer of the night. Tigers lead by three. Over the line comes Larry Smith, makes a great move. And Bodie. Battle got knocked down to the floor, but no call. Boy, the Tigers go racing down. Doug Smith with a jumper. Doesn't get it. Boy, a loose rebound. Picked up. Missed by Irvin. Marcus Liberty has got the next for Illinois. Gets it up to Gill. Kendall. Off the glass. Gill with a 15-footer off the glass, and the Illini back to within a point at 52-51. 12 minutes to go in the game. Boy, if you like basketball, folks, stick around. Don't know what the score of that football game is, but it can't be any more exciting than this, I'll tell you. Coward leans in, doesn't shoot it up. San Bodie back on the side to Smith. Underneath his button. Over Liberty. No. Rebound, Nick Anderson. And Nick's going to work now. Here's a foul. It's on Urban. It's his first. Fourth on the Tigers in this half. Well, a lot of folks have wondered how the Illini would play in a ball game when they were down. We're finding well, out there's now. a break in the action at the arena in St. Louis. 52-51, the Tigers lead. And we're going to return after this on the Illini Sports Network. Underneath the basket, a foul is going to be called on Button of Missouri. Second foul on uh, Nathan Button. As the Illini is still down by a point, and I think Missouri's going to take a, a timeout right here, Dick. Norm Stewart was really, really upset there for a moment, I'll tell you. 52-51, and we're going to return to St. Louis after these words from your local stations. And welcome back to the arena as you see the Illinois Pep Band have journeyed down to participate in this Magnificent battle between Illinois and Missouri, and boy, it's everything they thought it was said it was going to be, Steve. Here it is, 52-51, with only 11.35 to go in the game, and at the free throw line for the Illini, steps Kenny Battle. Battle with a chance to tie the ball game up or put the Illini ahead as they trail by one. 11 and a half minutes to go. We started to say earlier, a lot of Illini fans were wondering how Illinois might react if they got down by 10 or 12 points because they've been ahead all year long, and they're finding out tonight. Illinois down by 17 at one point in the first half. There's and they can't hit the foul shots. Rebound comes back to Illinois. Kenny Battle has it. I thought they were going to 
going to say he got two shots, but apparently only the one and one. Marcus Liberty to Larry Smith. Across to Marcus is open for three. Got it. Liberty's first three-pointer of the night, and the Illini have the lead for the first time at 54-52. the alley-oop is good by Smith. And that lead didn't last very long. It's tied up again, this time for the fifth time. We talked about Illinois trying to get that alley-oop. Missouri went with it and got it down. Here's Larry Smith with it. Gets it off to Nick Anderson, under to Kenny Battle. I'll tell you, when you get in a ball game like this, or any ball game, really, you won't find anybody playing any harder than Kenny Battle. He's getting warmed up. Side Coward working underneath the goes to Irwin. And the foul is going to be on Larry Smith, I believe. Smith and Liberty were both there, but I think the foul will go on Smith. Here's a look at it. As Coward works around the side, looks inside to Irwin. He's got baseline position. That was about the only thing Larry Smith could do. He came over the back, picked up a second foul. Looking for his 21st point. Byron Irvin, a 6'6 senior from Julian in Chicago, Illinois. He's Missouri's leading scorer, averaging 18. He's uh, well past that now with 22. And it's tied up at 56. Smith. Battle. Doesn't get it. Out of bounds. Illinois will have it. Oh, and Nathan Button went into the press table at the end of the fourth there. As Battle went down and look at it. Battle goes up. He looks like he might be undercut. He goes down. Sandbody goes down. Button goes for the uh, save, then up on the desk. So a good effort by both teams there. Should have been a foul called way back in the middle of the court, Steve. There's Lou, I'm sure. A little puzzled. Kenny Battle with a jumper. It's good. Foul on Button. It'll count. He'll go to the line and try for three. Battle has really come to play here in the second half. He has eight points in the second half after scoring nine in the first half. Battle is certainly the inspiration and the spark of this ball club as he has been in so many games. Gary Leonard checking back into the lineup for the Tigers, replacing Bunton. And going to the line, Kenny Battle of Illinois. He'll get the one shot. Chance at completing the three-point play. He's got it. Illinois leads by three. Doug Smith across to San Bode. Biggest lead of the night for Illinois at three. What a play Battle by Bell. Field. Great effort. He throws it back into Liberty. Liberty down to Kendall. Awesome. Charge on Gill. Kendall was a bit out of control, although I don't think I don't think uh, that, that upsets uh, Coach Hesson too much, although it is Kendall's fourth foul. But uh, they got good effort. Battle again with the steal. He spins in midair, throws it back in. Liberty let the pass go a little too soon, and Gill made the nice play, then uh, put the shoulder down and got the charge, but uh, he'll have to come out. Hamilton comes in. There you see Kendall Gill sitting down with the fourth foul. So we've got Smith, Battle, Anderson, Liberty, and Hamilton on the court. Hamilton playing with three fouls. Pressure being put on. Howard gets it away from the trap. Starts to drive, can't get it. They fire the it up way. court. Larry Smith. Liberty. Beautiful pass from Larry Smith. Coach Henson wants the Illini back to get in the press. Nobody was back to press. Missouri walks the ball up. Across the line is Coward. Illinois leads at 61-56. There's Hamilton batting the ball out of bounds as they try to get it to Leonard in the moment. Really switched around at Nordenstort. You can see is a little bit on the concern side to say the least, right there. Boy, Illinois has really turned up the defense, and Battle is right at the key of it as he usually is. Sandbody into Peeler. Peeler starting to go for the shot and a foul on Larry Smith, and that's his second. That'll 
send Peeler to the line with two shots. Uh, Smith picks up his uh, third foul, they tell us now, so Peeler will be at the line for two. Well, you know, the ice underneath that floor, the floor getting a little bit on the slippery side right now, Steve. That's the one bad part of this. Peeler is 0 for 2 now at the line as he can't get that one to fall. He gets one more. Nine and a half minutes to go in this ball game. Illinois leads at 61-56 after trailing by 17 in the first half. Peeler makes that one. It comes to Smith. Larry better hurry. Gets it up to Marcus Liberty. Marcus has it slapped away. They don't call the foul. Here's Peeler driving. Nice slam by Peeler as he got out behind the defense. Giving the Illini a little bit of their own game as they're back to within two at 61-59. The Illini coaches wanted a foul down here, but none was called. Here comes Illinois in the break, and Liberty can't save it. Okay, Byron Irvin, he is leading the Tigers tonight, I'll tell you. He's had a sensational evening, 24 points in the game. Battle, Marcus Liberty comes back outside with it to Smith. Now, to Nick Anderson, goes for the shot and a foul on Gary Leonard. That's his third, Dick. And Nick Anderson, who has had a problem at the line tonight, will step up there. He is 0 for 3. You know, when you got a game where both teams are playing this pressure defense, you're going to have some turnovers, and there have been several turnovers in this ball game. As Illinois has turned it over 20 times, Missouri 19. Nick Anderson's foul shot. Illinois up by one. Anderson had missed three in a row before that. Maybe that'll get him on the right track. Two clutch free throws by Nick. San Bodhi gets it back to Peeler. And now to Irvin over on the side. He goes underneath. Leonard has it slapped away and a foul on battle. That's three on battle. That is with three fouls. I thought maybe Leonard might have walked a bit before that foul, but they whistled the foul on Kenny. And Leonard will go to the line to shoot a pair. averaging uh, just about nine points a ball game. 67 percent free throw shooter at the foul line that is Gary Leonard. A lot of Illini fans remember his brother Brian Leonard who played uh, for the Illini from 1979 to 1983. That foul shot uh, makes it now 63-62 out of Belleville, Illinois. tied up for the ninth time here in the second half with just over eight minutes to go 63 apiece Larry Smith off to Marcus Liberty they throw it away the Kenny battle goes for it and a foul on Leonard that's four on Gary Leonard Battle was going in for the slam all the way on that. Liberty is a little bit tentative right now. He, he almost threw it over that time after turning it over the second time. Battle got it, no doubt about where he was going with that ball, but Leonard got up there to block it, but he also fouled Battle. Kenny will go to the line to shoot a pair. He's three out of four from the line so far this evening. Pardo comes in. Marcus Liberty sits down. I was just about to say Illinois is going to have to learn how to take better care of that basketball, Steve, making a lot of very sloppy passes. Marcus is a tremendous talent, no doubt about that, but keep in mind he sat out last year and he's just now getting into the offense and getting into the flow of things, and it's going to take a little while. It took Nick Anderson a while last year, but uh, he definitely helps this team, and he will, but uh, in this particular instance, uh, Lou decides to sit him down and talk to him a little bit. Battle missing it, but Lowell Hamilton gets it, doesn't oh, make it, but what a tip in by Battle! Oh, my land! Battle had his elbow above the rim on that one. Illinois leads it by three, 66-63. 
Sam Bodie gets it off. This is Doug Smith to Peeler, down on the side to Irvin. Out to Sam Bodie, driving around, going for the shot, and a charge on Sam Bodie. And that is four on Sam Bodie. Here's a look at Jimmy Battle. Battle goes up, rather, Hamilton goes up for the shot. The battle comes trailing down the lane and slams it home with two hands. Battle just uh, playing a tremendous second half. Here's the foul. Sam Bodie, now watch as he slips a little bit. We mentioned that the floor may be getting a little slippery as he slipped going up and definitely was the charge. And who took the foul? Kenny Battle on the floor. He's everywhere. Illinois leads by three. And Battle gives him a four point lead. The clock. 7.35 to play. This one a long, long way from being done, I'll assure you. Metal five out of seven from the line. And he gets another one. Sam Bodie gets it back to Doug Smith. Here's one of the keys in the ball game, the line. I 17 to 10 on second chance points. There's a lot of those coming. Shot and a foul on Kenny Battle. That's four on battle. That hurts with... I'll tell you right now, this is going to get down to not only free throw shooting being a big part of this ball game, but who's going to be left on the floor to finish. Smith went in with a pass to Irvin as Larry Smith slipped and fell, and battle came in and got the hack on Irvin. Kenny takes a seat on the Illini bench and gets a round of applause. He's got 22 points on the night. But those four fouls could be a factor. Lou will keep him out for a while, but he's got to have him in there in the late going of this game. Leonard sits down. Button comes in replacing him. Sam Bodie is down, and Peeler back into the lineup. And at the line steps Byron Irvin. Irvin, who had 18 points in that first half, has just notched his seven one, seventh, now his eighth point here in this half. And Missouri's back to within three at 68-65 with 7.20 to go in the ballgame. Anderson to Larry Smith. Wide open. Hamilton. There the Illini beat the Missouri press with Hamilton cherry-picking at the other end for the easy slam dunk. There's another steal. Bardo. Boy, Smith does a job. It's picked up off of the floor and a jump ball. Urban Small and Coward and now play getting just a little bit on the rough side. There was a... Well, they've separated everyone now. Coward's the one that uh, was down on the floor. Let's take a look at the foul. Coward's down on the floor. Urban Small went down to try, tie him up, as you'll see. And Coward felt that the Illini players weren't letting him get up. And he's down by the Missouri bench now. Byron Urban and Lowell Hamilton just had a few words right there, I'll tell you. The ball out of bounds after the jump. Here comes the slam again by Hamilton as he was hanging back on the uh, offensive end of the court and got that down easily. 70 to 65. Illinois leads it, and uh, as you mentioned, this is uh, quite a rivalry as we saw in that last series. Coward works in the backcourt for the Tigers. That's Nick Anderson picking him up. Six minutes.